Hi, I'm Tracy. And I'm Joe. And welcome to our channel, Retirement Color, where we're taking you along on our journey as we plan for retirement and a move across the country to a lake in Alabama. So since retirement is still just over a year away, there hasn't been too much that we've been able to work on, but we have been able to do some things. Well, just over a year is getting close. So we have to start talking. We did start talking to Builder, a Builder. We're going to get multiple estimates, but we learn as we go. So we've talked to one Builder we like. He's met us on the lot once. Um, so he's familiar with the layout of the land. But now that we have our survey, we know the exact orientation of the house and and have have positioned the house so that we get the best views of the lake from most rooms. So we've talked to a builder and begun the process of getting a quote. Now he's got some more questions for us and we'll be firing back those answers this week and then we will engage additional builders. So if you know some good builders in the area, go ahead and send us a, a direct message and um, we will definitely consider that. We wanna get at least three estimates um there's another and a fourth estimate is there's a myhomeplace.com that actually builds a floor plan that is very similar to the floor plan we've chosen um so they have a fixed price to build everything on the lot which doesn't include the septic tank or the boathouse but we're excited things are moving and we have to keep them moving because we need a place to live when we retire mm-hmm yeah, we're definitely excited. So anything in the process is really exciting to us. So what we have been doing is, or something that we can be doing is looking at decorating ideas to see how we want our future home to look. So that's what this video is about. So I hope you enjoy. For the front of the house, I like more of a farmhouse style. I love the white with the black and some wood elements. Whereas Joe likes more of a traditional with brick and wood. Even though I'm not as fond of that, perhaps it would be better to blend in with the terrain and the landscape. Which do you guys prefer? To give an example of my style, I really love cool colors such as ice blues and grays, whereas Joe tends to like more of a palette with bright stained glass colors. To help us get some ideas, we've visited several model home communities. What we are finding is the all white kitchen is out though I did really like this kitchen with the white and the cool grayish cabinets, but what really caught my eye here were the chairs. For some reason, I am all about quilted or tufted furniture. Here's another example of an all-white kitchen with the white subway tile, and I do like it, but I really believe that they are going out of style. What do you think? Here's an example of a navy blue island, and blue definitely is my favorite color, and I do like the darker blue, but the rest of the cabinets, as you can see, are white, which at first, at first this appealed to me, but I'm not so sure anymore. Now here's an example where the entire cabinets are a navy blue, almost to the point that they're black. And now I'm really, really liking this one. But as you'll see in the next clip, I'm a little bit torn about which one I like better. So it appears that this chocolate brown is making a huge comeback. And I'm really liking the dark brown. And I like that the cabinets go all the way up to the ceiling. The subway tiles, I know even though that they're pretty basic, I'm also liking the shiny subway tile with the white grout. I think it would be timeless and not a fad that we will eventually have to update. I had to throw this one in here. It has the dark chocolate brown that I like, but those tiles are pretty busy. And I think eventually you would get tired of looking at it and you would need to update it later. So what advice do you have for us? Do you like the chocolate brown or do you like the navy blue better? Another thing that will be really important to us is lots and lots of windows as the house will be oriented so most of the living spaces will have a view of the lake. 
While we were looking at the models, one thing I found that was really speaking to me for some reason is round tables. I really like them, especially with the mixture of wood for the table and fabric for the chairs. But what do you guys prefer, round or rectangular? Because this rectangular one's nice too. I really do like the wood with the fabric chairs. Moving on to the bathrooms, we are finding that the all white is um, getting a little dated now also. And the dark chocolatey brown wood, we saw a lot of that. And we also saw the dark navy, which is appealing to me. So I don't know, what do you guys think? What do you like better, the white, the brown, or the blue? And while we're on the subject of bathrooms, here's an example of the basic white subway tile, which I like, and it goes really, really well with these chocolatey brown cabinets. But then we saw this, and I really, really like this. It's shiny, it's got the cool blue colors that I like, and Joe said that he actually liked it as well. As you can see, there are a lot of design ideas presented in this video. I didn't get a lot of mine in there, but we'll get some in the next video. Um, well, or maybe I'll just be the good husband and let my wife make the decisions. And I'll just keep her in budget. <laughs> but we want to thank you um, for joining us as we embark on this journey of retirement across the country to a different lifestyle. And if you want to hear why we chose Alabama, I'm going to link a video right here. And thanks for watching, and we hope you continue your journey with us. Talk to you soon.